హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ సో ఇవాళ మనతో ఉన్నారు ఒక స్పెషల్ గెస్ట్ తన తన ప్యాషన్ని ఫాలో అవుతూ డైరెక్ట్గా యూఎస్ టు ఇండియా వచ్చేసి మన హైదరాబాద్కి వచ్చేసింది సో తనతో ఇప్పుడు మాట్లాడేద్దాం హలో హాయ్ మనీషా హౌ యూ డూయింగ్ క్వైట్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ డూయింగ్ రియల్లీ నైస్ అండ్ యూఆర్ లుకింగ్ సో ప్రిటీ సో బిఫోర్ వీ గో ఇన్ టు ద ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇంటర్వ్యూకి వెళ్ళే ముందర డీటెయిల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ముందర వాట్ వాజ్ ద లాస్ట్ సాంగ్ మీరు విన్నది లాస్ట్ సాంగ్ నేను విన్నది బయటకు వచ్చి చూస్తే పాడతారు ఒక లైన్ మా కోసం ఎఫ్ఎంలో ఎవరో పాడితే ఒళ్ళంతా ఎందుకోగానే యాపిల్ పండుల సూర్యుడే ఏరోప్లేన్ లా నా గుండే తెలిందే గాలిలో మప్పుల చారిందే నేలపై నీడల ఒళ్ళే కూర్చునే సడన్గా చల్లగాలే విలన బయటికి వచ్చి చూస్తే టైం ఏమో ఫోర్ ఓ క్లాక్ సంథింగ్ త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ ఓ సో నైస్ ఐమ్ థింకింగ్ ఆడియన్స్ ఉంటారు కదా వెన్ దే హియర్ టు యువర్ సాంగ్స్ ఆన్ ద ఎఫ్ఎం వాళ్ళకి కూడా ఈ ఫీలింగ్ వస్తుందేమో అని వెన్ ఐ లిసన్ టు మై సాంగ్ ఆన్ ద రేడియో ఐ గెట్ లైక్ ఐమ్ లైక్ ఓ మై గాడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ సో కూ Oh, do you get that feeling? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Like or in the theater or something. If any, every single time my song comes on the radio or, or I watch in the theater, I get like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like, like that happy, joyful yeah. moment. That's, I think, for a singer, the most satisfying moment. I don't know what to say, at least. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say, but when you're recording a song and when you hear the final outcome, it's a lot different. Recording on... అవుతున్నప్పుడు టెన్షన్ ఉంటుంది యాక్చువల్గా బికాస్ లైక్ మంచి వస్తుందో లేదో లైక్ వాళ్ళకి నచ్చుతుందో లేదో అర్థం కాదు అండ్ దెన్ దీ లైక్ చాలా మంది ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్లు ఇవ్వరు సో యూ క్యాన్ గేజ్ వాట్ దర్ ఫీలింగ్ సో లైక్ సో ఐ దట్స్ దట్స్ అ డిఫరెంట్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అండ్ దెన్ బట్ దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ లైక్ when you see your name from then on it's like all happy but before <laughs> until you see the name before that it's all tension and it's full it requires a lot of hard work also right yeah i mean yeah yeah definitely hard lot of hard work and uh actually even after you finish recording also it's uh, like there's a little bit of luck involved too is what i think really we'll go into the details slowly okay. but ipudu mi journey chudalante it started with car- Carnatic music, then you've gone to Paduta Tiyaga, yeah. and then some things happen, and then you're here in India, in Hyderabad with us, yeah. working with the Telugu film industry. Yeah. Somehow, there's a fairy tale. Fairy tale, or like some roller coaster, or something. Mixed up all. Like, ups and downs, or like some roller coaster, or something. Mixed up all. Like, ups and downs, or like some roller coaster, or something. Okay, so let's just dig into the past, and okay. why don't you tell us how it all started? how it all started um i mean so my parents i mean they moved to america when before i was born mm-hmm. and uh so i grew up in america I, you know i studied there i did everything there and chinnapto akkada andaru carnatic music nechukuntaru andaru bharatanatyam nechukuntaru it's just like a thing like all the indian kids learn so you and you went in with the flow so yeah my parents also enrolled so actually i started learning bharatanatyam and carnatic music when i was 5 years old so wow. and i learned like carnatic at the from when i was 5 to uh 12th grade so that's like in her second year here every year every saturday i used to go to class like for however many years that is like so it was like a ritual it was like a part of life like <laughs> adi a uh, uh, choice kuda ka it was like I, I, that was just something i did every saturday i had to go to music class and after several years it changed to tuesday so ante <laughs> that's the only thing saturday tuesday uh, constants in your life ante uh, so like it's just stuff like that even for dance bharatanatyam also until i think 10th grade or something i used to go. Yeah. so you're multi talented dance music and then acting to mention A- acting uh, yeah it takes time now i mean yeah i was in a movie but um, ac- the acting antaro em antaro i don't know <laughs> managing antaro em <laughs> so appu nechukune tappudu i don't think you would have had an idea ki future lo ela elli i would try playback singing or anything i never thought i would become a singer actually when i was younger i liked dance more than singing okay only until i think 9th or 10th class appudu 
నాకు సింగింగ్ మీద లైక్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ అప్పుడు వచ్చింది లైక్ అప్పటి వరకు ఓకే ఐ హ్యావ్ టు గో టు క్లాస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ బికాస్ దే సే హ్యావ్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ మై టీచర్స్ షీ టు బి రియలీ స్ట్రిక్ట్ సో భయంతో ప్రాక్టీస్ చేసేదాన్ని నేను లైక్ భయంతో ఐ ఇస్ టు కమ్ ప్రిపేర్ కన్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్ సో అంటల్ దెన్ వాజ్ ఆల్ ఫియర్ దెన్ అంటల్ లైక్ నైన్త్ టెన్త్ గ్రేడ్ ఐ థింక్ is when conscious self interest what did that come self interest like you realizing that no actually music is coming no no it's not that actually basically until then i didn't listen to much on my own like okay. i used to listen to american music up to aim popular unte adi ala venedani but telugu music or indian music up to anta venedan kaadu and i think um, basically i discovered youtube then around that time was yeah. the starting of youtube and then i discovered some i think the one of the first people i watched was some tamil girl uh, she she started posting tamil songs on youtube like covers like yeah, yeah. appudu there was no professional like video like um, you know mic system and all that appudu it was just like webcam mundu paadata mante kada so um, that's the first time i saw and so while watching her videos and while watching other people's i found like oh there's so, so many like nice songs out there like that i have never heard before so i would say youtube really opened me up to like so many different kinds of music um and I, that's what made me realize there's so much there's so much beautiful music out there that like so i i love youtube i'm like number one youtube fan <laughs> you was becoming like a number one platform to like show your talent guda yeah, yeah. many people if they have talent now these days people right so like um but now it's a it's a little more like businessy i feel like even though i'm not like i'm not a youtuber or something but ipud koncham like okay i have to make money off, now that they have introduced that right like you can make money off of yeah. just youtube but like back then were like the true days like of just like fashion to uh unna vallu like just they just used to post because they loved it so much like that like so i mean even now there's so many talented people but like yeah definitely so yeah. after that phase where you discovered kimik music and tashtam you started liking it then how did paduta tiyaga happen so i was in college um i went to berkeley and uh in my third year of college i um basically my dad heard on the radio that parvati uh, us lo first time chestunaru and i know of parvati my dad was a huge fan okay. and uh, he used to bring cassettes up uh, tape cassettes and uh-huh. so he used to bring no sorry video video cassettes oh, that's what it's called i don't even remember the name <laughs> oh, <it's fine. laughs> tape recorder yeah, yeah like the like the big ones you know uh-huh. and so he used to bring uh, spice land and oka indian store unde ma inti daggara so akkada rent teesukunte you can bring all these shows paarthatiga movies and whatever so he used to bring paarthatiga uh, video whatever and appudu 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 ala chuse danni so i knew i had somewhat of an idea Yeah. Uh, but all i knew was that okay they mainly sing patha songs paadtaru and it's very like traditional it's like very uh, telugu sampradayam like that kind of thing right so did your parents me malli force chesara meere ella audition force an ledu but he pushed a little bit okay. <laughs> like just like constant texts like are you sending it are you sending the video audition video like alanta uh, like that kind of thing but i i wanted to do it like why not Give right yeah so uh, pampichanu and then one year later they emailed me saying i got selected and then like two weeks later was the first episode shooting oh. so like that so do you remember me audition ki mere em paata paadaro yeah i sang manasa vacha so would you mind singing yeah, that sure. too yeah మనసా వాచా నిన్నే వలచా నిన్నే ప్రేమించా నిన్నే తలచా నన్నే మరిచా నీకై జీవించా యా ఇట్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ స్టిల్ ఆన్ మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ యా వాట్ యువర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ manisha irabatni <laughs> okay andara melli my name all your songs there <laughs> yeah no but i because for that audition you had to put it on youtube okay and then send it to them but you had to leave it public so i the pro post is and it's still there i left it there. but cute memories mali when you go back and see yeah. like most of the time when i go back i'm like oh god like <laughs> like I, i i like cringe a little bit but like at the same time half of me is like oh like like 
everyone starts from somewhere, right? Like, so it's like, you, it's nice to see progress. So that's definitely there. And then shooting for Paduta Tiaga with Balasubramaniam Garu and all the legends, yeah. it would have been a complete new experience, Gurami Ko Samgada. Yeah, it was definitely very new. <laughs> Until then, I didn't do any TV things. I was never on TV. Like, okay, Chinna new, uh, like, TV channel, Kyokachina, like interviewed. I've never done any of such things. So, like, um, it was definitely, but but the thing is, like, 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 this was a big deal because at that time, I didn't have time. Like, two weeks low shooting Undan Chaparu. I didn't know any of the songs. I had to practice. So, my focus the entire six weeks of this entire season was on practicing. So I was just like, okay, I have to like, I have to try my best, like whatever, like it's okay, just just try your best, keep practicing. So I never really thought like, okay, this is a big deal. Like, like I'm gonna be on TV, like until after. When it was done, then I was like, oh my God, like this is crazy. I put a request like me, my music, me, my music. It wasn't even like, I, I won't even say like, it's like dedication. Because it was just no, pure desperation because I didn't have time. <laughs> like, because I was also working. I was doing my internship then. So I was like working in the office nine to five. So then oh, I would come man. home and then I would eat dinner and then I would start practicing. So like I didn't have time. Like it just wasn't possible. So like, oh. Allah, like it was. Yeah, we're in a 24 hours. Ella Sarpatun Nyanta. I think we can give you an example now. I, at that time, yeah, you could yeah. give that. You can do it, but yeah, I worked my butt off. <laughs> How did you manage with all the Telugu wordings? Because old songs, their meanings, getting the meaning right, yeah. and then wordings, because yeah. pretty sentence has some deep meaning. Yeah. So, you understanding, how did you manage it? Yeah, um, so, Aparete in the Telugu word, so, um, basically, I didn't focus on speaking like sholo anta maatladalsina avasaram kuda ledhu actually because he'll just be like okay next person and then you just be like andarki namaskaram na peru manisha like balba and then you sing yeah. so i didn't have to worry about speaking too much but singing wise like i mean i've been learning carnatic music carnatic so, music lo sanskrit unta telugu unta tamil unta like it's all kinds of languages so i know how to i know how the sound is and also in Tlogoda Valu my, my parents speak in Telugu to us only. We respond in English, but they speak in Telugu only. So I grew up with listening to it at least. And for me listening makes a big difference. Like for me if I listen I can learn. That's the easiest way for me to learn. So that and also college low Telugu classes So I knew how to read and write. So I used to write my lyrics in Telugu and English, like simultaneously. Okay. So like, like yes, yeah, because some like if you say like Beda, like you can't write V E L A and they expect you to remember it, right? Like initially. So for those such things, especially, I used to write in Telugu, like the letters. So ala kuncham. And there was also Oka Ram Prasad Garani, Oka lyricist, not lyricist, but I guess he's a lyricist too. But he used to help with lyrics with oh. everyone so he used to pr uh, help pronounce and all that stuff not really pronounce but make sure you're uh, pronouncing the telugu yes. words properly right. Allah. so meer nana cheppar and cheppi you went in yeah. and then you gave in the audition tape yeah. then tarvata ultimately you were one of the finalists yeah. right so yeah. how was your parents reaction uh it wasn't a very big reaction yeah. <laughs> uh, like i mean they were definitely proud of me like uh, because they saw how hard I worked. So like, even for me, like, even if I didn't get into the finals, like, if I got kicked out, like, a couple of rounds earlier, because I tried my best at that time, given how much I had, had known, like, musically and how much time I had. And I am, like, even now, I'm really proud of how I did. Even though when I look back, uh, previous episodes, you said, he sang in the Chatta Bada and then Kuntanu. But... I also think like at that time, this is all I could have done. Like I don't ever think like I wish I could have done this, I could have done that. I don't have regrets with that. So that's so that's like, you know, what more can I ask for if like I don't have regrets, right? So like, <laughs> so yeah. And the fact that I got it, uh, I became a finalist, like that's just another like cherry on top, I guess. So so any of your nice memories with Balasubramanian Garu? Um yeah, like he. So we didn't 
అంత ఏం కలవలే కలవలేదు ఆయనని బట్ షూటింగ్లోనే హీ ఇస్ జస్ట్ స్పీక్ విత్ అస్ బట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద లాస్ట్ ఎపిసోడ్ వీ హ్యాడ్ అందరం ఒక గెట్ టుగెదర్ చేసుకున్నాం అనమాట సో వీ హ్యాడ్ లైక్ క్రూ మొత్తం మ్యూజిషియన్స్ మొత్తం లైక్ మ్యూజిషియన్స్ అందరం అండ్ దెన్ లైక్ ఆల్ ద పార్టిస్ ఫైనలిస్ట్ అండ్ ద ఫ్యామిలీస్ ఆఫ్ ఫైనలిస్ట్ సో అందరం కూర్చొని వీ లైక్ వీ హ్యాడ్ అ నైస్ లైక్ రియలీ నైస్ డిస్కషన్ విత్ హిమ్ హీ వాజ్ లైక్ వీ జస్ట్ ఆల్ సార్ అరౌండ్ బాలు గారు అనమాట అందరూ లైక్ చుట్టూ లైక్ వీ సార్ అరౌండ్ హిమ్ అండ్ హీ వాజ్ లైక్ టెలింగ్ అస్ స్టోరీస్ హీస్ టెల్ లైక్ హీ ఆస్ట్ అస్ ఆల్ టు సింగ్ ర్యాండమ్లీ లైక్ ఇట్ వాజ్ జస్ట్ రియలీ నైస్ వాజ్ లైక్ అ వెరీ లైక్ నైస్ ఈవినింగ్ వీ హ్యాడ్ సో దట్ వాజ్ డెఫినెట్లీ ద బెస్ట్ definitely memorable memories with him yeah so then akkad ninchi then you came how did you decide that okay yeah. because you said you were doing an internship and cheptunde yeah, was- so, so i was doing an internship between my third and fourth year of college mm-hmm. during the summer so telecast in the fourth year college on up to and that entire year i was doing shows in us like appro- okay. because i'm on, i'm seeing it on tv so then like she has become famous i <laughs> something like that <laughs> they're like okay manisha like oh this girl on park yeah. theater like she's already in us come for diwali show ugadi show ala because there's a lot of shows telugu shows that happen in us so i started doing shows like that so like i used to fly during the weekends like from my college whatever um and then i started interviewing actually for jobs mm-hmm. because for theater and graduation of sundi yeah. and i was going to like all my friends we were all interviewing for jobs and everything and i was thinking someone said like oh like Uh, have you ever considered going to india uh, like you know trying this uh, whatever so that's how the plant the seed was planted in my head and then ala uh, namadam i started thinking about it and i thought like you know if i'm going to try this this is the only time i can uh, because this is time sensitive right because tv lo kanpiste apude koncham janal ki they'll remember because in it's this not- time there are like n number of singers in this industry like telugu lo aina kuda tamil lo aina kuda like any there's so many singers so roj koka like 100 people will show up singers so uh like visibility is really important and that was the only time that i was like like consistently on tv for 8 months or something like that so i had to utilize that if a job i the like i went to berkeley so like if i want even if i were to go back now i can get a job like within a couple of months so it's that is not time sensitive for me so this is time sensitive kabatti i was like okay idi malli life lo cheyalenu ilanti risk so let's just take this risk and go with it so if put all of this said what do you think the risk was worth taking oh yeah 100% 100% 100% even if i left a year ago i would have said the same thing because even if i left after one year of being here I got to experience so many things like I got to experience being on a TV show I got to give interviews I got to um sing in movies like upude first year it just a chorus bit sala paade danni but even that also used to excite me like see that stuff like ipudu uh, if I did a regular job and I'll be like oh like I like successfully ran this program and like the, it it's on the website like ala chepkodanki it's not that exciting <laughs> like like yeah like oh like I had zero failed tests like how exciting is that compared to like you know like ipudu like also when I'm like 50 years old like ah uh, aroju okaroju anni programs pass ayan you know like uh, like i can't say that right? like dantle em undi andar chestar adi so like i like this is something different this is like wow i got to like i sang in a movie i i heard my voice in a theater i heard my voice on the radio like people love my song like or like all this is like incomparable to me like so definitely definitely way more worth it. like definitely worth it But so you've done neno local from neno local ninchi then you've done gentleman then you've done mahanubhavudu and i think you did sing something in hello too hello um i sang the all the backing vocals in akhil's song basically okay. yeah yeah so it's like been a massive journey yeah a, yeah a truly like amazing one so yeah. congrats yeah. and so what's your favorite song ippur varaku meer inni paatlu paadaru kada and look favorite ante favorite um I don't think I have a favorite song to be honest because I'm not sure. not because of the songs mm-hmm. 
but because I am like really critical. So like if I listen to a song of some, I'll be like, like I should have saying like this part like this. I should have saying this. Oh, that part doesn't sound that good. Like that's how I listen to my songs. So I to this day I don't really have like a man. This was the best you've ever done, Manisha. And the input chase in the songs lo, input very good chase in the songs lo. Okay, well, like obviously, Nenu Local is my biggest song, but actually, I sang a song for Kiravani Garu. Oh. Um, for this movie called Showtime. I don't think the movie released, but audio launch it in the and the audio is out on YouTube and everything. Okay. And that song I really love, but it actually doesn't have that much exposure, or whatever, because the movie hasn't released. Blah blah blah. But I actually really love that song. So that's like. Um, one of my favorite songs i think that of sun so basic a interview lo a chance unna we are not leaving the chance so that we can hear your voice nicely <laughs> okay okay so this is kind of like a song where ila coffee cup pattukoni like oka rooftop lo guchoni ala paadtu like sip coffee like that kind of a song okay <laughs> okay, okay. I'm okay. Imagining it for yeah yeah okay so um go something like this వెన్నెల రాత్రి వెచ్చటి కాఫీ తారోకి నీచే నైట్ సిరీ వ్యూ చీకటి సమయం ఫేవరెట్ ప్లేలిస్ట్ చలో మే లాంగ్ డ్రైవ్ నేచర్తో పాటుగా ఓ వర కూల్ నైట్ ఓ వర కూల్ నైట్ ఓ వర కూల్ like a bluesy jazzy like you know that type and of song and the lyrics go to chala funky gane or yeah <laughs> they're like in telugu hindi and yeah, english <laughs> everything together yeah 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 nice yeah. and uh, so after that you ventured into acting also koncham yeah koncham ha so but adi choose kuda movie title lane everyone were fida on your character shailu <laughs> Uh, yeah uh, well yeah i got like good, decent good. enough uh, right yeah. because actually i'm not in the movie for that long mm-hmm. but because of me second half muttam navalane jarthavi so so that's <laughs> like you know like it's like important at least <laughs> so how was that experience it was really fun actually um maybe because it was my first time kabati i've never seen a movie set in my life uh and i only had total of like 12 days shooting like okay. kal- kalpi so maybe because i didn't have to experience like the true troubles of a true actor <laughs> so naaku chala fun ga unde but the only thing is there's a lot of waiting like hours of waiting untadi but i mean that's not a really a, like that i have that in singing too there's many hours of waiting in the studio <laughs> so adalvate so and i have a lot of patience so naaku it's not a big deal for me but um it was really fun like i even uh, a couple of shots i watched behind like shekhar garu ikkad monitor unte shekhar garu venkala guchoni i still watch just because i was interested like asal ela chestar movie like how they put the cranes how they put the tracks like i just like behind the scenes like yeah it was like really interesting it was like i was getting an experience that i don't know if i'll get again so i like tried to make sure i made the most of it so yeah it was really fun i really liked it and i really loved the cast the crew like everyone was really really nice and like there's such like creative passionate people so like i love people like that so <laughs> it was so, awesome uh varunte chai palavi and we landar to any like fun incidents or anything um let's see fun incidents i, I don't know if i was there for that long to have fun okay. incidents but most of my shooting happened in banswada which is near nizambad mm-hmm. so like we actually like stayed there for several days and stuff like that so actually my mom and my brother okay. was visiting uh, my brother was visiting from us last year uh-huh. uh so validaru they came to the sh- to, to the set and while watching up to actually my mom is seen in one frame of the movie oh. when she came they they just put her they're like koncham ikkada kuchanante పెళ్లి జరుగుతుంటే వరుణ్ తేజ్ పక్కన మా మమ్మీ ఉంటుంది అనమాట బేసిక్లీ సో యా సో ఒక ఒక ఫ్రేమ్ లో ఉంటుంది అండ్ హర్ హర్ కజన్స్ ఆల్సో లైక్ ఏ మాధవి నిన్ను చూసాను లైక్ ఓ వి సా యూ ఆన్ టీవీ సో లైక్ ఇట్స్ కన్ కోల్ యాక్చువల్లీ దాస్ మై బ్రదర్ టూ 
uh-huh. to be in some background like like whatever <laughs> but uh, vaat ki patience takwa so he so like brother ante younger hai elder he tamud tamud so tamud ante he must be missing you right now kotkune vaade mo kada he's only one year younger than me okay so like yeah, we, like we miss each other but it's not like kotkoda mante like adi chinna ah yeah we're like friends siblings that's the type we are like okay. like we hang out together like ipudu nen us kelna pudu kuda like he is now friends with all of my friends yeah. so i don't know how that happened but <laughs> basically like because only one year difference gravity and he lives in san francisco where all of my friends live so ipudu na na andar friends there are friends with him and while under snaps bump is taru they'll send me all these videos be like oh hanging out with your brother today and like <laughs> and now it's not even your brother it's like hanging out my with friend. my his name also i'm just like okay so you, do you miss that lifestyle there akada oh. yeah 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 all the time because that's uh that's how, what i grew up with right those are my friends that's like my life that was my life so na i had like it's like i had to make a sacrifice right to come here so that's my sacrifice <laughs> but at the same time ikkada kuda you have your own yeah thing going on I mean, so this is like it's it's basically like passion versus my comfort right like so ultimately i i still think i'm still choosing passion over that so when i decide to choose comfort over yeah. that that's when i'll like you know yeah but cheers to you for doing that <laughs> not everyone can follow their passion yeah or um, sometimes probably will try jeremo emo some people may not try some people can't actually exactly. maybe their parents won't let them like my parents are were fine with this like a lot of times they don't even have fam- family support so i had that i'm lucky enough to have that right oh, so um i was able to i'm in a i'm lucky enough to be in a position where i'm able to pa- pursue my passion and then the only thing i did was i made that step so that's the- so i put me telugu film industry lo so you're a part of it yeah. so did you have any fan girl moments ala fan girl moments oh with the uh, stars yeah or anything yeah i did um Okay, let's see. Uh there okay, so basically I really love Prakash Raj. Okay. Um so chin up to epudena telugu movies choose edanante like uh, like it became like a thing where like movie lo Prakash Raj unte I'll get excited the kind of thing or like okay. I'll get excited like oh Prakash Raj in the cinema lo and I'm like oh my god thank god like he's going to save the movie like ala unde like and then one time <laughs> like save them <laughs> i mean like you never know right? like like for me he's like such a good actor right like he could do like evil roles and like positive roles in like the It same way like yeah yeah so like i don't know i just like really loved his acting um so one time i think i like saw him or like i was with my friends in cinemax and uh, this was the first year i came mm-hmm. and apudu duran lo nunchi prakash raj kan picture and then, uh, I, and then I, i think i like kind of freaked out a little bit and okay. then I, i think i kind of ran for a couple of, but i didn't i stopped myself i was like okay oh. i shouldn't like meet someone like this like i should meet them properly so then i, I like but i did run for a couple of so i was like Okay, what did I what did I? No, no, I didn't meet her. Prakash Raj, so meet her soon. <laughs> yeah, that'll be awesome. But <laughs> yeah. So But, any yeah. celebrity crush? Celebrity crush. Um I don't know. I like people like in movies. Like like for example, like character. Yeah, like, okay. Or like for example, oh, like even in recently in Mental Madhi, I really like Sri Vishnu in uh, mental mm-hmm. madhi but like it's not that like it, i just liked him in that movie you know kind of, like that kind of yeah, a thing okay. <laughs> um maybe it was a character i don't know or like obviously like arjun reddy eh, arjun reddy was well the character was a little too crazy for my liking but like the movie was obviously uh, amazing um but yeah or like pelli chupulu i really like pelli chupulu uh, so the answers but vijay devarkonda yeah. would be your celebrity crush you probably yeah oh that's nice <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. And you also sang a song in Mental Madhi Logo, right? Yeah, it's a bit song. Um, but yeah, it's in the second half. And it's, a, it's actually in English. Mm-hmm. I actually sang two, but I think one got um, edited out. Um, okay. with, with final edit, whatever. But yeah, one is in the second half. And yeah, so it was really nice. So. <laughs> yeah. oh, who's your favorite music director? <laughs> AR Herman. <laughs> I went to um uh recently I went to Australia 
for a month or three weeks and I went mm -hmm. to uh, I went with RP Patnaik sir okay. so he took us to um, this AR Rahman show in Melbourne and uh, it was so good like it was like magical the show was amazing and then they sang mostly Tamil Hindi lo Padar actually uh -huh. but um, there was they sang Satya in Telugu mm -hmm. and first they all started they were like Satya and they sang in like pure harmony and it was like amazing with all these lights and stuff and, and then Hari Charan started singing he sang and then everyone was like oh, because all the Telugu people would be like yeah Telugu kind of thing. it was amazing the show was like magical like, like me dream to work with him yeah. yeah so I actually met him after the show okay I guess this would be my uh, fangirl, fangirl moment. moment. I don't know why I didn't uh. think of this earlier. Um, but that, like, you should have seen me. Like, so RP sir, because of RP sir only, because he know, they know each other. So me and Satya Yamini, another singer, and Anudeep also, we were also with RP sir for shows. So he took us backstage to meet A.R. Haman sir. And we went. And I, like, even when I made eye contact with him, I think my heart skipped a beat. Like... I, like I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I was exaggerating. Like, <laughs> yeah, my kuncha mova Jason and kuntana remo. But like, I actually like my heart skipped a beat. Like, and then like when we met him, I was like, I, I was like, I was like, I couldn't think of words. And then after we left, it was only a couple minutes, like two minutes. Kalsi, uka photo whatever. We left, and like I had to run. I had to like release my energy oh. and then RP sir was like <laughs> 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 not even the photo it was just like like seeing like because like I had a moment I had like a moment after because I was just like see like I grew up like in America I was on my way to be like you know some IT employee somewhere like be a software engineer living in San Francisco like blah 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 this is this was my life my life path the fact that it changed so much and that I ended up here and then I ended up in Australia, which I never thought I would go to. And I met A.R. Rahman, like it was just like, um, I just would like, I never dreamt of this. So like I had like a moment, I was just like, oh my God, like I, I like got tear -eyed, teary eyed, like and that's how much like it, it meant to me. So yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Definitely A.R. Rahman. <laughs> And Ikar Goda, when you're working with all these music directors here, I think personally, the, you, you're learning a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you learn something from not every single person. Like, even if it's like a music director or um, singer or anyone, you, all, you, can, you always learn something. I always learn something from every single person. So, me, life is the biggest critic, Yaviru. Me. You're your biggest critic. Yeah, hands down. And I guess it's a harsh critic. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Me said it was a me fan moment. Someone came and they are like, hey, me song winna. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, occasionally that does happen. Um, but actually, someone in... Um, I was in Australia. And um, we went to this casino there. Like, mm. Andaram Vellam Anvata. This, like, it's called Crown Casino. It's in Melbourne. And it's apparently, like, a big casino. Mm -hmm. Then there were, like, multiple people who came up to me there. And I was, like... In a casino. Huh? In a casino. <laughs> These Telugu guys. And Okarochi. Andaram Unnam. And he came and he was, like, Hey, Manisha Iravatani Kada. Oh, my song, Kiss Me Baby from Mahan Mahabharu is so good. I was, like... <laughs> I was like, from everything, <laughs> that's the one you know. <laughs> I mean, like, that's also a great song. I'm not saying that, but like, I was just like so. And he knew my full name from that song. Like, I actually, I really love it when I have like a sentiment. Like, I I love having my last name. Like, some people are like, oh, last name the pedda and the kaustra blah blah blah. But I love it. Basically, I I like having my full the name. Thing. Yeah, and I love it when people come up to me and say my full name too like the fact that they remember my last name too like it means a lot to me and like also like I like it when like my family members are like they're proud yeah, like yeah. like like that kind of thing so like 
I that's why I always like also request for my full name um, if for song credits and stuff like that so like the fact that he remembered my entire name and he said the entire thing and then he recognized that song actually that song okay. so like and so I also the only reason why I was shocked is because it's only four lines in the song so like <laughs> but like anta koni, anta uchi, and he like shook my hand took a photo I was like Cool. And airport logo to someone came up to me. Someone came up to me in the airport and uh, now Instagram story open chasey. Hey ma'am, here I saw this. Oh. <laughs> then they took a photo like that also there are people or people will come up to me and be like uh, they'll show me their like Savin playlist, they'll show me they'll show like or they'll show like my mashup or something, they'll be like that. Like I love that because like they're not just they genuinely are listening, right? Like, yeah. th- like that and makes me really happy. The moments make it really worth it. I feel all the struggle and all the sacrifices. Yeah, hundred percent. Because you're affecting someone's life. Like, that's that's huge. Like, for someone to affect someone else's life, to like, I'm a part of their day. Yeah, that's something that you must be lucky to have, right? So, like, I like really cherish that. Like. So that's like awesome to me. <laughs> but me, Dagarninchi, what can we expect in the future? Your future projects? Future projects? Well, so I have, um, so I'm coming up with stuff on my own channel. Um, basically, I want to do original music. I want to do my own, like Telugu, mostly Telugu only. I don't think I'll do fully English. If it's English, it'll be like half English, half Telugu or something. But I want to do good music of my taste in Telugu and I feel like the best way to do that is like like I mean like then I can do what I want right like if yeah. I if I take the initiative so I'm planning with stuff like that um, I have stuff in the works right now so that should release soon um, hopefully one will release by the end of this month okay wow so that's in like two weeks or something so yeah uh, definitely stay tuned to my social media <laughs> If you want to see, yes, but um, <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, and then other than that, I have some mu- movie songs. And also, you tried something in Tamil, also, right? Yeah. So uh, it's really nice breaking the language barrier yeah, yeah. and trying different different things. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah so and so I did, I sang a Tamil Tamil song Tamil Tamil song yeah. recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a private song. It's by Farni Kalyan. He he did the Nive song mm-hmm. that you know that the one that got viral and stuff. So our song we sang a song called Yen Kadale and it was like it was like in Tamil and it was like I was like really scared because you know like Tamil you have to pronounce really yeah. properly. Like I was like very like I asked a bunch of my Tamil friends like to like check my pronunciation and stuff because you you have to be correct in the way you pronounce right like before posting stuff out there so um yeah but i'm really happy because i do have a lot of thumber friends and like and i really like the language too so i was happy that hopefully i can sing more i don't yeah. know that'd be awesome even we our whole team wishes you all the best okay. telgu tamil how did you say we pronounce it yeah, copy paste that. <laughs> and then Hindi breaking all the barriers, all the best to you and to your other songs yeah. and everything else. So let's end this with a song of yours again. Which song do you want? Saturday Night Fever. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. You are in the mood to dance, aren't you? <laughs> okay, okay. Nilichunna ini misham, kaliso chile freedom, huggage hello are. Tachete adevam, smile at chi adigedam, roju shanivaram, evaram. Cheyo dana de, chesi chupidam, vina kunda manam. Hate anna de, raddu chese dam, pote apesidam. This is, this is, this is, this is Saturday night fever. Da, 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 da. Saturday night fever. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye.